Once upon a time, in a quiet coastal town where the sky met the sea, there lived a little boy named Jack. Jack was an adventurous soul with a heart full of wonder. As night drew its velvet curtain across the sky, Jack gazed out of his window at the twinkling stars and listened to the gentle lapping of the waves against the shore. Tonight, the air was filled with the scent of salt and the whisper of the wind, promising a tale of nighttime magic. One particular evening, as the moon cast silver rays upon the waters, Jack took a stroll along the beach. The sand was cool and comforting beneath his toes, and the world seemed to hush to a whisper to prepare for a wondrous event. That's when Jack saw a silhouette that was not quite wave nor wind. It was a gentle manatee, with eyes as deep and soft as the sea itself. Hello! Jack said softly, not wanting to startle the peaceful creature. My name is Jack. What's yours? The manatee let out a bellow that harmonized with the ocean's song. It sounded like she said, Mara. Hello, Mara, Jack whispered, feeling a rush of joy at the new friendship that was blooming under the moonlit sky. Jack had heard manatees could be shy, but Mara was curious and seemed enchanted by Jack's presence. She swam closer to shore and they shared stories. Jack talked about his day, his dreams, and the seashells he had collected, while Mara told him about the ocean's depths, the coral reefs, and the stars reflected in the endless waters at night. As the hours drifted by, Jack realized that the night was special. It was as if the boundaries between land and sea had melted away, and he, together with Mara, drifted in a world of calm and serenity. Mara then invited Jack to climb onto her back, promising a safe journey through the moon's reflection on the sea. Though only a child, Jack did not fear, for the world with Mara was kind and full of gentle dreams. With a splash, they were gliding over the water, the manatee's smooth back, a comfortable seat for the young boy. They moved through the water with a grace that made Jack feel as if they were flying. The stars blinked above and the manatee hummed a song of old ocean tales. Jack closed his eyes and felt the embrace of the night wind, the tender ebbing of the waves and the heartbeat of his new friend beneath him. He was safe, he was at peace, he was home. They ventured beyond the bay into the tranquil abyss of the open sea, where dolphins occasionally leaped alongside them, adding their playful whistles to Mara's soothing hum. Jack laughed, his heart soaring with every jump and dive. It was a dance of pure joy, a celebration of the night's tender beauty. After what seemed like a timeless dream, Mara circled back to the shore, where Jack slid off her back and onto the still warm sand. He snuggled against her massive form, feeling the warmth of their shared adventure still lingering in his bones. Thank you, Mara, he said. Tonight was magical. Mara nuzzled him gently, a silent promise that this was not a farewell, 
but I'll see you later. As Jack walked back to his house, the soft sand beneath his feet and the memory of the ocean's lullaby in his heart, he felt a drowsy calm wash over him. He climbed into bed, his eyes heavy with sleep and his mind swirling with the enchanting experience. The gentle murmur of the sea outside his window was now a lullaby that sang of friendly manatees, moonlit adventures, and the secret whispers of the night sea. With a contented sigh, Jack drifted into slumber where Mara and the wonders of the ocean awaited to frolic in his dreams. And so, beneath the watchful eyes of the stars and the moon's soft glow, Jack slept, embraced by the magic of the night and the friendship of the dreamy manatee. The End <laughs>